up, folks? I am UltraZilla, and this is the Ultra Z News, not weekend update yet again, but I was away this weekend, had to go visit family out of town, and yesterday was Power Rangers Day, and I really wanted to get that Dragon Lord review done, and if you haven't seen it, please go do watch it. It is one of the coolest figures of the year, and the thumbnail gives away why. It is just so awesome. So do give yourself a chance to go check that out, and I, I do appreciate the support. But we have a lot of news to cover here. Um, we're going to get through it as uh, diligently as possible. So without any further ado, let's get to the news. And let's kick things off with the movie monster series and Godzilla Store exclusives, including Godzilla 75, Titanosaurus, and a repaint of uh, Mecha Godzilla 75. Yes, it is a Terra of Mecha Godzilla uh, trio. I love this movie and I love these figures. Now, um, these first two figures of Godzilla and Titanosaurus, a lot of folks saying it is part of uh, the Toy Dream Project figures. Uh, they are redos of those. I never had those figures, but looking at pics, there are some slight various things that look weird to me. Like the hands look a little, little bit different. The legs look a lot different to me. So I don't have them, but you know, it could be the same. But either way, it's going to be new to me. The Mecha Godzilla, though, is a repaint of a one that we got before. I have the teal version of it. I don't think I have a regular version of it. This is a battle damage version, but it's good enough for me. Um, at least I don't think I do. I, I don't know. I gotta check. But uh, on that same note, the Godzilla Store US online shop web shop whatever uh is now open for you guys to check out it's very cool they don't have these figures and i don't know how quickly these figures will be here or if ever there are some exclusives in the shop now however it is you know a gamble you don't know so you could get these three figures pre-order them from Bai or zen market it's very easy to do but the U.S. shop is open for business, so do check it out. SH Monsters revealed another Monster Hunter, and this time it is the Tigrex. Uh, I like the Tigrex a lot, uh, and I'm a little pissed that this is the next one. Because I said I was out, and now I don't know. Um, you know, out on the Monster Hunter stuff, but man, I like Tigrex a lot. I have a version of it from Revoltech. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I really want it, but we'll see as uh, the pre-orders go up. Ban Presto is doing a Shin World Heroes diorama uh, with obviously Shin Godzilla and Eva 001 and Kamen Rider as well as Ultra. Oh, man, these are all going to be individual figures that you can purchase. You can order them at Entertainment Earth right now. And then when you put them together, all their bases come together for that iconic pose uh, that they do. Uh, so that is very, very awesome and a much cheaper way to get a representation of uh, this team up than that crazy DX uh, <laughs> combination, which I, I, I do love though. Mondo's Urban Aztec Godzilla went up for pre-order today. It is beautiful and all the official picks are out. What a gorgeous piece, man. Look at that flame effect. Look at everything. This is one of the most unique things I've ever seen. Uh, it is a timed release, so you do have a few days to uh, put in your pre-order, so do check out Mondo Shop uh, right now to do that. Speaking of official uh, picks, Hiya Toys put up their um, Muto picks. This is uh, the uh, female uh, Muto. It looks very, uh, very good. And uh, these are up for pre-order right now as well. So do check out your favorite shop. Like, hey, uh, Pals Kaiju Live. You can check them out there for more on that. 3-0 put up for pre-order there. Uh, Ultraman Zero Armor LM mode, which is a Luna mode in the original series. It looks very, very nice. You can check it out at hlj.com. 
Good Smile Company uh, showed off their, uh, put up for pre-order too, their Motoroid Voltron. Yes, this is a kit. It is a gorgeous looking. What a perfect Voltron silhouette here. Very animation like with the white. I do uh, like it. It's very, very clean. Uh, but I dig that. I think it's a very cool. So, uh, it's definitely on the radar. Um, you know, most all, mostly all things of Voltron. I love how that black uh, lion tail comes uh, into Voltron. I think that's awesome. Um, yeah, th this might be a must get for me. What's going to be a must get for me is a G01 awesome model kit from, you know, build a figure from Yolo Park. This is uh, to go uh, with their uh, Megatron, which means it's going to have die cast parts and all that. So, definitely looking forward to it. Revolt Tech Amazing Yamaguchi showed their uh, Agent Venom. How awesome does this look? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, this is uh, automatically on the radar. Why not? Super 7 uh, has a variant of Rita Repulsa up right now, and you could actually get it. They uh, produced it alongside with their Wave 2 Rita Repulsa, so that's pretty, pretty awesome, guys. So if you want a purple clothed uh, Rita Repulsa, this is uh, your opportunity to do so. Also announced today, uh, the Mars Attacks uh ultimates uh, with a nice clean version i forget the actual names clean version and a crazy crazy battle damage version so uh ak 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 your way to super 7 uh, dot com there's a link down below in the description if you want rita or if you want the mars attacks figures now this is not super 7 but it, it looks like it could be right uh but this is a dragon zord card holder that's up at Entertainment Era, so do check that out right now. It's a little pricey, but how cool is that? I'd put my cards on that. NECA showed off a two-pack of uh, Puppet Master figures. These are actually four and a uh, half inch tall, which is a little bit of an unusual size for them. And they are articulated, so not uh, their regular Tiny Terrors uh, line. So this is really, really cool. Uh, I do like that. I love the dude with the... the uh, the cowboy with the arms. I think that's multiple arms. Uh, I think that's really awesome. And this just in from NECA as I was getting ready to record. Mirage Comics Ultimate Splinter has uh, gone up. Uh, and uh, this, well, it was announced. Uh, revealed and announced. This is beautiful. Look at this, man. You get so uh, much with this. I thought you don't get all these masters. You do get one master. You do get one uh, Krang guy. Uh, and you get all the turtles. Uh, a small a little splinter. Yeah, oh, man, this, that's just so, so cool. Mezco announced that they're doing a major tough to go along with your Indiana Jones. And it's going to come with the Ark of the Covenant and a ghost. So if you get an Indy... I think you probably should have this. Pokemon Select is uh, doing a Gar a Chomp figure. Uh, and these are in the trainer line, which is the Target exclusive line. Looks really, really good. I really like this one a lot. Um, digging the style here. And, and then also uh, this dude whose name was there, but I forgot it. This yellow lion type guy, walrus. I don't know what it is, but... Uh, <laughs> Less on the radar, uh, but it does look cool. What well, looks amazing? Uh, and it is very big news to me. Rebar is doing a Bielzy Bufo. Uh, if you saw Prehistoric Planets Season 2, this was one of the major stars of one of the episodes. Uh, I love this fat frog, and uh, I gotta have this. The bigger news here, though, is this is going to be articulated. This... Uh, I believe is a first, a fully articulated figure from Rebor, so that to me is major, major news. But I love Bielsa Bufo, I probably would have gotten one anyway, so that is fantastic. And the last bit of news is uh, something I know folks have been wondering about, but this is my own pick, guys. The articulated dragon from Papo is in store in the U.S. Yes, I picked one up. Yes, I will be reviewing it. Uh, so for those that have been waiting, go check any shop right now that carries Popo stuff. Chances are they might have it. I don't know. I got mine in a local shop uh, and they don't have an online. Sorry, guys. Uh, but, you know, that's major news to me because I know a lot of folks have been waiting for this. It's not yet up on Amazon at all. I don't know how much it's going to be on Amazon. 
this was slightly less than what I've seen it online and online shops for. So uh, that is pretty cool. So I'm going to gather uh, the final price is going to be about 35 to 40 bucks. And if it's cheaper, it's cheaper. But um, I got it for just slightly over that. And the other prices I've seen online are much more over that. Uh, so uh, yeah, I mean, while we're shipping and stuff. But, you know, this is really good news, guys. Do stay tuned for my review. And there you go, guys. That's the news. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.